Now, I'm, with my apologies again, uh, Dave Van Ash, Bob Vanderzanen for the Washington County Farm Bureau. You have a total of four minutes. Do you want to do it now? <laughs> uh, uh, I want to talk about the four minutes. Uh, <clears throat> Chairman Bryan and Commissioners, thank you very much for allowing us to testify. My name is Dave Van Ash. I'm the president of the Washington County Farm Bureau. We have 630 plus member, family members. I'm also a fa family farmer north of Corneas. Uh, there's four of us making this presentation, myself and three other board members, Bob Vanderzanden, who lives and farms north of Hillsboro, uh, Greg Mecklem, who's in the Helvetia area, and Larry Dyke, who's in the Roy North Plains area. Um, we're here tonight representing the agricultural industry in Washington County, which has an income of about $300 million a year. And we rank fifth in the state of Oregon and 46th in the nation. Uh, you know, civilization needs three basic industries to sustain life on Earth, agriculture, mining, and fishing. Without those three, we don't exist. At this point, I'm turning it over to Bob. Uh, Commissioner Bryan, Chairman Bryman, and Commissioners, uh, I won't take very much of your time. We have a, a, quite a nice handout. We put together a great letter that will include most of the points that we're talking about. I'd like to encourage you to read it carefully. We spent a lot of time on it, and we think it has some some level of wisdom of, that will <laughs> merit its attention. Uh, secondly, uh, the process we devised has uh, steps to it that are things that we think are essential to make it work for agriculture. We trusted this system because we wanted long-term viability of agriculture in Washington County. We think that the process that was designed properly, we feel it's unfortunate that it's taken this long to get to the county commissioners to discuss it with you. Uh, we think that this is beginning to work. Uh, we don't want to see a lot of deal making. Please follow the rules. That's what we're after. The rule making was done very well at the state level. Those rules need to be applied. Uh, things that we would ask for are whenever you put rural designation, I'm sorry, whenever you make a, a urban designation, please put rural next to it. Nothing in between. It needs to give protection to the rest of the rural lands. Uh, we need to look at uh, the whole system that way. We need to, cities like North Plains and Banks don't need any more growth. They have room to grow where they are. North Plains has already had many elections that turned down additional growth. Put rural designations around those towns. That's the type of stuff we're looking for. That's where we want to be. Next. Thank you, Mr. Bannerstein. Thank you, commissioners. My name is Greg Mecklem. I'm with the Washington County Farm Bureau. We've got a once-in-a-lifetime chance to get this right by placing Washington County's foundation farmland in rural reserves without sacrificing future high-tech manufacturing jobs. The Farm Bureau supports the establishment of an urban reserve in the South Hillsboro area to Rosedale Road with reservation for industrial parcels north of Butternut Creek. The designation of this area for industrial use would help alleviate pressures to convert foundation agricultural lands north of Hillsboro. The St. Mary's property on TV Highway alone could supply five large parcel industrial sites. Nowhere else can you find 467 acres under single ownership with rail access and adjacent to existing and proposed residential communities so that people could bike or walk to work. It's been proposed as a good location for an industrial site in past UGB expansions. At the same time, we should place rural reserve protection uh, around the high value farm, foundation farmlands of Helvetia and south of the Sunset Highway to Mackay Creek and around North Plains and Banks. Washington County Farm Bureau believes it's short-sighted to urbanize these core foundation farmlands. Continued urbanization of these areas will have an adverse impact on farming in Washington County in violation of Urban Reserve Factor 8. The Farm Bureau recommends that the entire area of Helvetia north of Highway 26 west of Helvetia Road and north of the current UGB be designated as a rural reserve. The use of an undesignated status as a holding area is not consistent with the law. It makes no sense to create a 70-acre urban reserve northwest of the Sunset Highway and Helvetia Road, URTB. Time. Okay, let me just close here. The parcels are an integral part of and have no buffer with West Helvetia and have 20% Class I Willamette silt loam soils. On the other hand, West Helvetia as a whole has excellent buffers of Sunset Highway, Helvetia Road, and Jackson School Road. I just wanted to make one quick comment about UT2B. Why would you put it in an urban reserve 
before you negotiate a price uh, to help develop that clover leaf there. It makes no sense. It's going to be a waste of public funds. Uh, you know, you don't tell somebody what you're going to. Okay. Let me uh, mention that. Uh, uh, Mr. Beck, you want to testify? I'd like to say just a couple things. Okay. What I'll do is I'd like to, st so we can be consistent because we have other groups, just to say the Farm Bureau's had their four minutes, but we'd invite Mr. Dyke as an individual to testify. Okay. Is that where you're going, more or less, Dave? Yeah, he'd just like to talk about Forest Grove, Corneas. We didn't right. get those areas. So uh, just to try to be consistent, the Farm Bureau would be uh, finished. And now individual, uh, Larry Dyke, uh, has three minutes, actually, more than your colleague. Did. Very, yeah. <laughs> two, two minutes. <laughs> two, 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 two. Sorry. Well, I guess uh, Forest Grove, Forest Grove uh, in the uh, Costica map, they show an area north of, uh, north of Council Creek in the uh, Cornelius area which we're totally opposed. We have a boundary. We have a natural boundary there now. We have Council Creek. And any expansion over Council Creek is just, it's gone. It's gone. So we certainly, certainly encourage to stay south of Council Creek. Um, the area that, uh, according to the Oregon Department of Agricultural map, the uh, David Hill area has been an area that's always been a conflicted area. And uh, it's an area that we, we would like to see. We would like to see the uh, residential go up on the hill. You know, even though one of Washington County's planners have told us, you just cut down the trees and you start farming it, well, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. And we believe certainly the residential, that's the area for the residential. Rather than the valley floor, the area north of Forest Grove on the flat, irrigated farmland. I guess one final thing, Tom, I, many, many meetings ago, I said, does one industry trump another industry? And you said, not necessarily. Well, Jerry Willie's speech, I certainly believe Jerry Willie's speech, if you would have put in agriculture rather than the city of Hillsboro and industry, it fits perfect. We all want the same thing. We want to continue our operation. We want to, we want agriculture to thrive. We don't want to be eliminated. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tom, one more comment. I know I'm supposed to be done, but if you look at those two dark green areas, those are proposals uh, that were not uh, part of the, well, they're, they're part of the original discussion. They were undesignated. One of them is south of Cornelius. We, uh, we kind of think that could be an industrial area for Cornelius Forest Grove. The other one is on Minner Bridge Road in Hillsboro. Could be residential for Hillsboro. Thank you. Thank you.